What if a single text could revive a missed sale, turn a first time buyer into a loyal customer, or stop you from getting ghosted on your next discovery call? In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily send SMS campaigns using Brevo, whether that's simple outbound text or fully automated messages that drive real conversions. If you run an agency, an e-commerce store, a local business, or you're just tired of low email engagement, SMS marketing is the move and Brevo makes it incredibly easy. Here's why, according to to MailChimp, the average email click-through rate is just 2.6%, but SMS campaigns often see click-through rates between 15 and 35%. And while emails can sit unopened for hours or even days, studies show that 90% of texts are read within three minutes. Don't get me wrong, email marketing still has its place, but by adding text into your communication strategy, you're tapping into a more personal, more immediate channel that people actually check and act on. In this video, I'll walk you through how to send a basic outbound SMS message, and then I'll show you how to fully automate text to send welcome messages, abandoned cart reminders, post-purchase coupons, meeting confirmations, and more. Full screen this video and let's lock in. So the first step is to sign up for a free Brevo account. So click the link in the description down below and you can sign up for free. You'll be taken to this page and now you can get a 50% discount on your first three months by using my code, but you actually don't need a paid plan to do anything I'm about to show you. So click pricing and then you'll see that they have a free forever plan, which is really generous. And what makes this amazing is the text message feature is actually pay as you go, which means you only pay for the text you send. So if you see the pricing table here, and if you wanna send a hundred mobile messages to the United States, you can see it's just $1.09. And so it has really good pricing. And what's really cool is you don't have to pay for the platform. In fact, you don't even have to pay a monthly fee to rent a dedicated SMS number like some other platforms make you do here. It's just included. So click sign up and you can sign in with Google or enter your email address and a password. It takes a few seconds. Then it's gonna ask you a few questions to set up your profile. And then when that's done, you'll be here in your dashboard. Now, of course, before you can send any text messages, you need to have contacts to send them to. So head over to contacts here and you can easily create contacts. Now you can manually create contact by just clicking create a contact and filling in all the info, or you can import contacts from a spreadsheet, which is a lot more efficient if you have a lot of contacts. So you would just go here and then go to import from file. You can download an example file, and then you would just put in your contacts. It's going to field map them. You just confirm all the mappings there, and then you create a list for them and you add them to your database. And once you do that, then you'll have your list of contacts. Okay, next, the final thing we need before we send text is we do need to purchase some credits. So click on your name, go to my plan, go all the way down to SMS and WhatsApp messages, go to add credits. So let's say you wanna to send to the United States, and so you can see 100 messages here is only $1.37. And that's all you need to test this. Just buy 100 messages, which is the minimum. And that's going to cost you, what is this, about $1.09 or dollar US for 100 messages. And so just proceed to check out and you can enter your credit card information and make that purchase. So once we've set up our contacts and we've added at least 100 messages for about a dollar, which is all you need to spend on this, then you're ready to send your text messages. So go to campaigns and then go to create campaign and go to SMS. Now you can give it a campaign name, example campaign and we click here. Now, when we're setting up our sender name, of course, enter your name, and I wanna flag one thing here. If you are in the United States or Canada, you do have to comply with A2P10 DLC and get a toll-free number. It's just the law. All text carriers have to do this in the United States and Canada, so all you have to do is fill in this form. 
And so it's just registering with this body. You just need to enter your information, your website, your address, your business name, everything you see here. Down here, you're gonna share the number of messages you're gonna send, the use case, like what are you using this for? Give an example of that, like a sample message. And this one is really, really important and that is your opt-in flow description. Here, you're going to have to explain where you got these phone numbers from and how they opted in. And it's not just explaining, you actually have to send them the form and a screenshot, as you can see down here. But Brevo actually makes this really easy. So just go over to contacts, forms, and you can just create a sign up form right here. For the sake of time, I've already created one. So you would just create a form that looks like this. It's really easy to do. You just drag in text and images. It's like any other builder you've ever used. And so you would create a form that looks like this if you already don't have a sign up form. Of course, if you already have a sign up form on your website and you're already collecting this information, of course, you don't need to make one. I'm just showing you if you don't have one, you can just use this and create your form and make sure you have these two things, the SMS opt in and terms and privacy. Now, one other thing, if you're not in the US and Canada, you might might not have to do something like this, but depending on your country and your region, you might have some different requirements. So I'm showing you for the US and Canada and for other regions, I think there aren't any requirements. So you can just start sending texts right away so you can ignore what I'm showing you here, but I'm just sharing it as an example if you do have a regulatory body that oversees this. And so you would give them the link to your form and you would share a screenshot. And then when you're done designing your form, if you have an existing website, you can just embed the form right here. Just drop this code in and it'll show up on your website and you can share that and you're good to go. Now, if you also don't have a website, you can actually create landing pages with Brevo. So you could create a landing page really easily and it's a drag and drop builder just like the form. So say for example, you wanted to do this page, you could just import this page in a few clicks and you just need to set up your page preferences. Of course, save all that and configure it correctly. And then you can just click and start editing and making this landing page where you're going to be collecting the form information. But it does require a paid plan. But again, it's optional and only if you already don't have a website that you're using. So once you submit the A2P10 DLC verification or whatever the verification would be in your country, if it's applicable to you, then it can take, it says up to four to six weeks for them to authorize you. But every time I've done it, it's taken a few days to a week. So I think that's just on the high end and they just say that to set expectations as government bodies do, but I've never seen it take that long. And once you're verified, you won't see that notification anymore and you can proceed with your texts. Now, here's the thing about Brevo. If you don't do that verification, it'll let you still try and send texts, except they just won't be delivered. So just be careful not to skip this step and be like, oh, it's still letting me do it. So maybe I don't have to do it. And then you just start sending texts and literally just not deliver them. So don't skip this step if it applies to you. Then save that and then you set your recipients. Again, you can pick the lists that you imported and send that there. Now for this example, I'm just gonna be sending to myself. So once we've set up our sender and our recipients, just go to create. And again, you could send this to hundreds of people if you're trying to mass text, if you have the contacts and their phone numbers and everything in there. I'm just showing you a simple example. You can say, hello, Kevin. I'm showing you how to text in Brevo. And let's say I said that. And you can also attach images to your text to make them multimedia text. And you'll want to click manage US compliance. Again, if you're in the US or Canada, and then you need to put in a prefix so you can put your name and you must say something like this, reply stop to opt out. Like you have to have opt out language. So you have to enter something like this. Again, if this applies to you. And so you can see that right there, I save it, everything is good. And one other quick thing, you can actually even personalize this. So if you didn't want it to say Kevin, you could actually personalize that attribute and you can just have first name and it'll auto insert Kevin. 
and I'll show you that when we do send the text. So it says, hello, first name. I'm showing you how to text in Breville. So this way, if you're sending out mass texts, you can personalize them a little bit and the person feels a little bit more like you actually personally sent it, which is really powerful for text messages. So just hit save when you're ready. And now we can see it and we can schedule it or send it for later. Let's just send it now. And I'm gonna grab my phone here and show you that text. And it says, hello, Kevin, I'm showing you how to text in Brevo. So it dynamically inserted my name like I said it would. So that's really cool. And that's what your audience would see. So these kinds of broadcast messages are really good just to send out promotional messages to your audience or just stay top of mind or to try and farm some engagement from them. Maybe if you want to send some surveys or if you just want to maybe promote a new product or service or event. So they're really good just to send out mass communications similar to how you would with email. And now that we've covered simple outbound text, I want to show you how to send fully automated text, which is really where the power of the channel comes in. And again, we're going to do all of this from within Brevo. And what's really cool is the automations are included in the free plan. So you don't need to pay any platform fees or anything to use them. Again, you're just paying for the text that you send. So click on automations and then go to create an automation. Now, immediately you're going to see a whole bunch of templates for a lot of different automations, but I'm going to show you how to build an automation from scratch because I want you to really learn how this works so that you can build anything you want. So go to create from scratch. And so let's make a simple welcome automation. So basically we all know first impressions are really important. So what we're going to do is we're going to send a simple welcome message by text to contacts who join our mailing list. And so the way automations work in Brevo is really intuitive. It's like playing with Lego. It's just triggers, actions, and rules. And I'll explain each of these as we build out our automation. So the first thing we need is a trigger and that basically tells the automation to start. And so in our case, we want it when someone joins our list. So we could do it when someone is added to a list, for example, or when someone specifically submits a form. Let's say we used one of those lead forms that we created earlier in the tutorial. So we just grab our lead form and drag it in. That's it. Then we just choose our form and hit save. That's how simple that is. Now, next, we might want to add a rule. Like, let's say we don't want to text them immediately because maybe that's a little creepy. It's up to you. But <laughs> let's say you want to at least give them about five minutes or even an hour, right? It all depends up to you and your audience. Let's say we're going to wait about an hour. Let's just say that again. You, I would at least give it about five minutes so people aren't creeped out, but you know, you could wait something like an hour. And what these rules are, are basically conditions that you can have. You can have like conditions that split or when something happens, when an event occurs, so you can get really advanced with these things. But you know, we did a simple condition here, which is a time delay. So we did triggers, we did rules, and now we head over to actions. And this is what we're going to use to actually send the SMS message. So the first thing we need to choose is whether this is a promotional or transactional SMS. It says welcome offers here. So maybe we'll call it promotional, though you could word this in a way that's more of a confirmation that they subscribe to your list. So it's all up to you, but let's just go with promotional here. And so my sender name is Solopreneur. We could say something like, hey, welcome to the Solopreneur family, comma, and let's add in a personalization variable here and we're going to go first name and of course you can add anything else you like here and then you definitely do want to click manage us compliance again if that's relevant to you and you can say text stop to opt out and then you save it and now when someone submits that form an hour later they will get their text message then you just need to go to Activate automation, activate automation, and we are done. Now, whenever someone fills in that form, they get that text. And there are so many other automations you can make. Probably some of the most powerful are tied to a shopping cart. So here we have an abandoned cart. This is when somebody 
almost purchases and then they abandon the cart. And because text messages are open usually within three minutes of being received, this is the perfect time to strike when the iron is hot and try and recover this sale. So for example, maybe you could even give them like a 10% off coupon to try and get them over the line. Or maybe you wanna make an automation where when they make a purchase, you then send them a 10% coupon for their next order to really build loyalty and repeat purchases. So to do this, you would just need to connect your e-commerce store and Brevo literally supports hundreds of e-commerce stores and other external systems. So Shopify, WooCommerce, whatever you have, you just get to integrate it with a few clicks and then set up the trigger to be purchase or abandoned cart, whatever is passed over to Brevo from your platform, like I showed you in the automation. So that's how easy it is to send both simple and automated text messages in Brevo. As I said earlier, SMS messages aren't a replacement for email and rather are a complement to what you're already doing with it. But keep in mind, this is a much more personal communication channel than email, so you'll want to be strategic and respectful with how you use it or you'll quickly have people unsubscribing. If you sparingly use text for important high value communications and don't overdo it, you'll see a huge improvement in your engagement and sales. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more marketing automation content just like this. And speaking of emails, Brevo lets you send emails as well and their free plan gives you a few hundred emails per day. Check out this tutorial if you want to see how to send different types of emails step by step. I'll see you in the video.